What's up guys, Aryan here with Wired Hardware. Hope you guys are doing good and staying safe out there. Today's video is gonna be about graphics card drivers. Now, whether you got a brand new graphics card and you wanna install new drivers for it, or you have an existing graphics card that needs to have its graphics card drivers updated, this video is gonna cover just that. Now, I'll show you guys the tool that I use and how I go about either reinstalling graphics card drivers updating them or installing brand new ones. This method is probably the best way to go about it. You could just use, you know, GeForce Experience to go ahead and just update your drivers, but I really don't recommend that. And I'll tell you guys why when we get more into it. But for right now, this video is gonna be specifically focusing on Nvidia cards. I'll probably do a video on AMD cards soon in the future, but for today, we'll just focus on Nvidia. So let's go ahead and jump into the computer and let me show you guys how it's done. All right, so first things first, what you're gonna do is you're gonna open up your Chrome browser and you're gonna search for DDU, uh, possibly throw in driver uninstaller in there and DDU is short for display driver uninstaller. And this is tend to pop up right at the top of the Google search. You're gonna wanna download this version. This is from Guru3D. Um, there are a lot of fake applications that you know claim to be display driver uninstaller. I would just go with this link here at the top. We're gonna go ahead and click it and once that loads, we're gonna pretty much scroll all the way down and you are gonna find the mirror link for your region. Now, I'm in the West Coast, so we're gonna download the West Coast version. And as that's downloading, we're gonna go ahead and open up the Chrome browser, another tab, and we are gonna choose NVIDIA because we do have an NVIDIA card. We are gonna go to NVIDIA site and we're gonna download the drivers for either the new graphics card or uh, the current dra graphics card that you currently have and just update the driver now you're gonna click on drivers and you are gonna find your graphics card in the list mine is the 3090 so it already populated over here we're gonna hit that search button and then we're gonna hit download now once this downloads we're gonna have this driver already installed on the computer and the reason why we're doing that is because once we start this process of getting the drivers updated and uninstalling the drivers. Um, you want to make sure you turn off Wi-Fi just to prevent Microsoft Windows from downloading drivers and kind of just messing up your process, okay? So the next thing is once you see that you have display driver uninstaller over here, should be in a zip file, and you also have your NVIDIA driver right over here, you're gonna go ahead and restart the computer and boot it to safe mode and the reason why you want to boot it to safe mode is because uh, when you are running safe mode a lot of Windows files are not being executed it's pretty much the bare bone of Windows and that allows you to safely uninstall any display drivers so you can go ahead and reinstall them so we're gonna hold down the shift key button and we're gonna hit restart now once you hit restart while holding the shift key you are gonna get a blue screen do not get alarmed you're gonna make sure you go into advanced and you're gonna go startup settings and you're gonna see a bunch of options just hit restart and once the computer boots you're gonna see an option where it's gonna say boot in safe mode or safe mode make sure you choose the one without network and just go ahead and click that and we will be back when we're on safe mode all right so now that you got the computer restarted and you're in safe mode you're gonna open up your display driver uninstaller wherever you unzipped it to just double click on the icon and you will get a window like this now the first thing what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into options and you're gonna look down for advanced options what you want to do is you want to check mark the box where it says prevent downloads of drivers from windows update when windows search for a driver for a device now the reason why you want to check this box is because windows will automatically look for a driver when it detects a new hardware and since we're going to be uninstalling the drivers it's pretty much going to recognize this graphics card as a new graphics card so it will do what's natural to microsoft and that will find a new driver for it that's why we're going to go ahead and check mark this box so that way we don't have to deal with that kind of nonsense once you check mark it go ahead and close it you'll look on the right this is where you're going to see the device type we're going to be doing gpu now for this video we are going to be doing nvidia but you have three other options here nvidia amd and intel but like i said we're going to be doing nvidia for this video and on your left you're going to see three boxes one says clean and restart clean and do not restart 
and clean and shut down now clean and shut down is for when you get a brand new graphics card and you want to uninstall the old drivers and shut it down to install the new graphics card that is going to be the ideal option over here clean and restart is going to be for us because we're pretty much going to update the drivers we want to go ahead and uninstall the drivers and reinstall the updated ones so we'll choose clean and restart now clean and do not restart i really i never choose this option i don't really know what it's for um, but it is there you can just uninstall the drivers and don't restart the computer but i always advise to you know restart the computer after you uninstall the drivers so once we hit clean and restart you'll see the log sheet just fill up you're going to see api being uninstalled a bunch of things going to be uninstalled and after all that the computer will automatically restart and take you back to windows without being on safe mode so we're going to go ahead and click clean and restart and go from there all right, so now that we have the old graphics card drivers uninstalled, we're back on Windows. We're going to look for the software of NVIDIA's latest drivers that we downloaded, which is right here. All right, and once that is done, you're going to get this logo right here. This is going to check your system compatibility. And once it does that, you're going to get two options. You're going to want to choose the first one, which is NVIDIA graphics driver and GeForce experience. Now, if you don't have GeForce experience, you want to choose this one. If you already do have it, then you could go ahead and choose the second one. But we're going to choose this one for today's video. We're going to hit I agree and continue. Also, you're going to get two options here express recommended and custom advanced i usually like to go custom advanced just because i'm able to check this box perform a clean installation and that's just going to ensure that any file that was left over from ddu is automatically taken out and installed over uh, make sure all these boxes are checked graphics driver hd audio driver nvidia geforce experience and physics system software and we're going to hit next and that's pretty much it once this process is done computer is probably going to ask you guys if you want to restart which i recommend and you have reinstalled either updated drivers or brand new graphics drivers for your video card all right well there you guys have it that is how you install graphics card drivers for either an existing card or a brand new card and ever since i found this technique i've been using it every single time i just i just know that when you do it through geforce experience um it's kind of sluggish you're not really uninstalling all the old drivers and it just kind of messes around with the files and just doesn't give you a great experience this route just completely takes care of everything and i wanted to share with this with you guys if you didn't know about it now you do and if you did then hey this is a refresher maybe you guys will be reminded to use this next time you are updating your drivers but as always guys i appreciate your support make sure you guys hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video also sound down in the comments below what you guys think did you guys know about this driver did you guys not know about it let me know i'd love to know and as always guys appreciate it for your support and make sure you guys subscribe for more content coming your way and until next time guys i'll catch you on the next one